Okay, everybody. Let's hear some pearls. Are we ready to wrap it up? We've had some amazing conversations over at my table. All right, I'm coming around. We're going to hear pearls from different tables. I'm going to start at the armed table because they're very organized. All right, pearls. Break it out, Bill. Uh, the two I'm going this way first. Oh, this way. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think sometimes less is more in the past uh, history of yourself. Yeah. Less is more. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let's keep, uh, keep it going. Okay. Um, so m my feedback was uh, just a mechanic, mechanical portion of my thing. Uh, include your full citations and your contributions to science. Full citations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Those are good. I think sometimes jumping right in about why you're the right person, depending on what grant it is, instead of like leading up and finishing with that. Mm. Good. Inverting the pyramid. Get your lead going. What do you got? Uh, I think we saw a couple that make sure at the beginning of your personal statement you're saying why this is specific to the grant that you're applying for, for immediately. Yeah. Okay. Good. So say your role specifically. In your contribution to science, kind of specify what your what your role in that specific publication was, whether that you're the primary investigator, the first author, or you're part of a team. Yes, your role in that blurb in, of the whole contribution to science blurb. Okay. Yes. Um, so, in the personal statement, after stating what the project is and what your goals are, kind of watching your wording, maybe using "I'm uniquely qualified for this" or some of the predetermined phrases that are available to use. Excellent. So, right. So hit those signposts that people are watching for that. I'm uniquely qualified. I'm uniquely suited. I'm prepared to lead this project as principal investigator, principal, P-A-L. And this is directly from Scott, but proofread your co-investigator uh, co bio sketches because even if they're very senior, it may mean that they're doing it in a historic way rather than a modern way. Burn. Okay. <laughs> well, she just took mine uh, since it was from it. Now, I'm a, uh, pushing the less is more. Uh, if you can say everything in one sentence that you said in four sentences in it, just, you know, these, this is a lot to read, and I envision uh, people reading them on uh, airplanes and tired in hotel rooms and um, with their kids in the background and all that. So less is more. One sentence to get it across is much better than four. I think my whole table is encouraging to me to say bold that shit, which was a consistent theme <laughs> that came up in ours, uh, that bolding stuff to actually highlight the major accomplishments or the things that you want your reader to walk away from and really making sure that you highlight that stuff so it's just not a bunch of words on a page. Do you mean words and phrases? Words and phrases, your name, um, what else came up is, is yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. We did a lot of bolding here. There's a lot of bolding. Whoa. Okay. That's it. That's, That's it? it? Oh, you got this. Yo, I love it. I love it. All right, friends. And what do you got? What do I have? Um, <laughs> well, I, to kind of emphasize the, uh, the action of your interest and in where your trajectory is rather than saying I did this and I did that. Uh, okay. Yeah. More or more less. Uh, yeah. Interest? Yeah, more or less. Uh, what am I? Trying to say, uh, rather than uh, drawing attention to yourself, rather your interest in the content of your work and the direction that you intend to take it. Your motivation. Yeah. Okay, the story of it. I like it. Okay, sir. Um, other things to consider is for your contribution to science, not just by topic area, from say sepsis versus heart failure, but also methodological okay. approaches, okay. Um, whether that's pragmatic studies or RCTs and vice versa. Good. Um, you just really need to sell yourself mm -hmm. and even if you don't have a lot of experience just try to list out your highest qualities first then go down to be more honest later <laughs> <laughs> Aww. I mean, that's good sell yourself everybody has something special to offer that's why you're going on this grant so on uh, Jason I learned about the complete list of published work that you can add uh, yes 
your, thank you. That complete biblio that you're going to go make in PubMed or some other uh, format like Thomson Reuters. Um, uh, I've got uh, highlighting kind of the clubs you might be in. Like we talked about, like if you've done, if you had some funding from one institute or some other foundation that was relevant to include that. Uh, no, okay. you know, I think one of the things we saw was about just organizational structure and prioritization of kind of what you want to get across to the reviewers um, and so putting those things up front, whether that's in the personal statement or your contributions to science. Okay. Framing. Good. Framing. Uh, one of the things we talked about was um, in terms of like selling yourself on the personal statement section to highlight what exactly your role was if you were involved in a larger study that you had listed later on in the bibliography or scholarly activity area. Say like, you know, I, I recruited patients or I, I, I don't know, organized a multi-center part or recruited other centers, so. Good, excellent. Your role, um, I mean, I think I learned not, uh, not to be afraid to exclude things from the biographical sketch. We feel it's drowning out the focus of what you're trying to say. Just learning about some of the details of how to phrase things in a way that seems like uh, that would best fit the culture of it. So I think that was something that was uh, very eye-opening. Again, about the organization and exclusion so that you can be succinct, but then find a contribution list that you can, uh, a complete list of the bibliography to include the other parts of it. Am I supposed to say something? Great. Yeah, my favorite pearl on biosketch. Well, I, I'd say first be careful how much you bold because as a reviewer you get a little sick of looking at too much bold because if you bold everything, nothing is bolded. If you bold too little, then nothing highlight. But your name certainly on all the publications. I, I think the most important thing in your personal statement is to make it personal both in terms of what you are and what you bring to the project uh, and how you have interacted with the other members of the team who are part of the project or have not to that point. Uh, as we were saying here, it's, uh, you don't have to pretend something exists if it doesn't, and it's okay to highlight it as a strength, perhaps an innovation, if it's a completely new direction for a collaboration. At the end of the day, you get one section in the entire grant to talk about who you are, as opposed to what the project is, and that's your personal statement. So make sure you use that space wisely, and don't just repeat everything you have said elsewhere, like in your specific aims. That's good. Be personal in your personal statement. With uh, just echoing that leading your personal statement with um, why you're the best for this study. Mm -hmm. Good. Rationale. Okay. Sorry. I don't know if I have anything besides. You've got <laughs> I'm sure you do. I guess for, for me it's really just try and explain me oh. and, and not what I'm doing, who I am. Okay. Good. I like that. We could go a long way doing that. It's okay to be early in your career. <laughs> it is. Um, kind of piggybacking on that, making sure you're positive. So rather than saying, you know, even though I haven't really done anything yet, you know. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, I would agree with the other person who said, just don't, you know, play yourself up and be proud of what you've done and, and make that clear to the reviewers. All right, I think your bio sketches are going to be amazing, very persuasive. Uh, thank you to my partner in this work, Dr. Andrew Monti. Now, Scott, we're moving on? Or do we have a break? Okay. Yes, we are. Okay, so break till, we're going to start at 2.30 sharp, correct?